voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. For young women who don't consider themselves feminists, babies. <laughs> <laughs> What's with that laugh? <laughs> Please, for the love of all that is holy and right and grandmotherly in this world, stop saying that shit out loud. I uh, hate to break it to you, but they can say it as loud as they want. In fact, allow me to say it for them. We don't need feminism. Capiche? <laughs> it makes you sound like an idiot. <laughs> if you actually went on YouTube and actually explained to people on how you need feminism or how feminism is cool and hip and shit, chances are that people like Dr. Red McCann, Undoom, Teal Deer, uh, Skeptor, Song of a Cod would all just jump on you and say on how retarded you are. I mean, like, <laughs> what you're saying right now is complete idiotic. It's just very, very fucking stupid. It's like giving up the first 20 rungs on the ladder to getting some respect. The ladder is like a thousand rungs tall. You're going to have to ask for every one. You're going to have to full torso fight for every goddamn wrong when you say I just don't consider myself a feminist it's like saying uh, I uh, I'm not that crazy about having the right to vote or, <laughs> or get an education feminism may have fought for those rights but feminism alone is not responsible for those rights to even happen okay and just keep in mind that just because you are not a feminist does not mean that you're in for equal rights. If I told you that I'm an egalitarianist, what is your response? Or prosecute men who perpetrate violence against me. <laughs> Keep in mind that she says prosecution against men and not prosecution against people in general. Male, female, those who are intersex or Tumblr gender. <laughs> it's like saying, it's cool if my body's property. What if some of these women like being property? What do you have to say then? Also, if you could, uh, please stop following it up with, uh, I've just never been discriminated against personally. <laughs> because uh, though that's great. <laughs> um, yeah, that you've never met any obstacles to your self-actualization, uh, and we're really happy for you. Right? Well, I doubt that you have to face any obstacle yourself. You're a cisgender white woman. You're, you're living under a roof. You're pretty much on par with that of men. With any man. In fact, you probably have more rights than I do. And I... <laughs> Want to know who should be president? Not Hillary Clinton. We're just asking that you keep that to yourself. <laughs> well, yes, you should keep it to yourself because your ideologies is just like a religion. You know, it's best that you just keep your mouth shut because everything you say is absolutely idiotic. That you feel no solidarity with the women who have no voice, no power, no safety, no light, no freedom to drive a car or walk down the street by themselves at night, no right to protect their own children. Which is why you're here in America, doing absolutely nothing about it. Maybe you're not ready to acknowledge what you owe to your mothers and to their mothers and to their mothers, to the women who did not raise you but loved you, 
before you even existed. The women who raised you up on their own backs. And fuck the men who apparently died for absolutely nothing outside of war and um, making buildings. You know, fuck them. Because, you know, it's not like they implanted life into you. Just, just, just fuck them. To the spitfires and the brawlers and the bitches. To the snake smart charmers who conned the justice out of men with their sticky honey shiny. To the he she's who crossed enemy lines and took the fear and hatred into their own bodies and transformed it in the swagger into I dare you motherfucker. Maybe you're not ready. Perhaps maybe it's not you that is ready. Maybe it's not you that is ready for reality to accept the fact that people no longer need a movement that is outdated, that, uh, that has already achieved all its goals here in America. And instead of actually doing something, you know, productive in your life, what you do is basically bitch and moan about how women are still oppressed in, a f in the first world. Your entire ideology is redundant. I'm sorry. Of course you're not ready. I am barely ready. I am unprepared. My sex is not a handicap to be overcome. Got sense why people got worries. I'm not intimidated by mouthy boys or entitled men or roving packs of beer soaked adolescents looking for some proving ground of flesh, but. You say that until someone addresses your points. I mean, how much you wanna bet that if you make a YouTube page and a couple of people make video responses, chances are that you're going to disable your ratings and comments. Or if I found you on Twitter and I show you this video, are you going to respond to my video? Chances are you're not. It's terrifying to be this soft, to be an object who have had to learn first, not who I was, but how I was seen. Am I pretty enough? Why is he looking at me like that? Why won't he look at me? Who would love me? Who would love me? If I exploit myself first, I will be spared exploitation, right? Mm -hmm. If I don't claim the war is mine, I won't be targeted. If I don't want it, It won't hurt when I can't have it. But you can. Don't you feel it? Some repressed ambition stirring nauseously inside of you. The piece of Eve's apple that won't digest. The slow monstering of you when you have to remind yourself to smile and be nice. Boring, this is so boring, this is so boring, get to the point. The tiger hinging on its hind legs. Don't be grateful. Be ungrateful. <laughs> be on your last nerve. Get yeah. ready. Oh, brother.